to Jake's world. He's Jake, Jake's world. Jake's world. Jake, Jake's world. She had the idea that he is Jake and we're in his world. In Jake's world. I'm Jake, that's Pat. Jake's world. Jake's world. <laughs> Over here. Over here. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Um. Welcome. Welcome to Jake's. Wait a minute. I forgot some. Here, here. Follow me. This is very important. I, I almost forgot this. Come on. You coming or what? Jesus. Got my beer. And I forgot to do this. This is for uh, another segment of the show, the health segment. Oven's already heating. That's fine. Okay. Now we can go back. Did you step it on me? Jesus. Yeah, that's what you get, you know. Amateur technicians, non union. Now go sit down. Man, you got a fascination with that guy, don't you? Boy, are you in for a surprise. Okay, sit down. Welcome to Jake's world. I'm Jake. This is my world. This is Pat. Hi, Jake. Hi, Pat. Pat McDonald. He's my friend. You sparked me. I spark you? Yes, you sparked me. <laughs> I want to do the lombardi with you. Oh, teach me. Oh. And that's what Jake's World's all about. Spontaneity. Nothing planned, nothing scripted. We just wing it. Jake's... Uh, <laughs> um, yes, um, we yeah. just wing it. That's our cameraman yeah. and our producer, Dave. Hi, Dave. 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 Whoa, Dave, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> this is 3D House of Jake. Yes, Whoa. Jake's World. Whoa, Jake's, Jake's World. world. <laughs> Jake's World. Okay. What we plan to do here on Jake's World on a semi-regular basis, assuming the people at the cable company let us take their equipment out again uh -huh. after this. What do you think the odds are on that? Uh, about the same odds as you going out and buying Chad Jackson's 1814 Rhythm Nation. <laughs> Hey, we're on an escapade, huh? But anyway, um, what we plan to do is bring you into my world. This is Jake's world. Introduce you to it and bring on some special guests. Oh, sorry. You can't do that on TV. That's true. Well, this is cable access. We can do a lot of things on cable <laughs> access. We, we, we're going to bring out some special guests like today. Today's guest, everybody told me, I, I told him, I said, you know, I want to bring on this guy as a guest on my show. And everybody said, Jake, it's impossible. Nobody could. I told Pat, I said, Pat, I'm going to bring on, you know, mm, onto my show. How did you put water in all these? <laughs> you know, well, I had to we're not actually off. drinking. This is not beer. I, anyway, I'm telling the story. Okay. So, I, you know, I'm going to bring on this special guest. And they said, you can't do it. Jaja? No, no, no. Jaja hit me. I'm never ever on a show. All right. Um, and so they, they, a lot of people thought he was dead, but he's not. Um, you know who I'm talking about, don't you? Sure. Roy Orbison. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's skinnier than Roy Orbison who sings lower. Um, he's not dead. He is alive. Uh, as far as we know, we found him. And uh, later on in the show, he's going to be on. Um, and I'm talking, of course. Of course. Of, about. Yes. Say it. Elvis. Ooh. <laughs> I just got to rush there. You I know. know. Elvis sparks me. <laughs> you know, we could both do the Lombardo with him. All right. Anyway, uh, so um, that's, you know, Elvis is going to be on later on. But first, I want to. Is there uh, any truth to the rumor that he was doing the Lombardo when he he died? I heard that's what caused yeah, his, his yeah. massive coronary, uh, if that is what he died of. <laughs> Dr. Nick. Um, <laughs> Uh-oh, lawsuit. Anyway, uh, we went out in the streets to look for the king, and... Uh, our trail led us to one location right away. Let's let's cut to that clip, Dave, if we can. I 
get a feeling. I had a feeling. I'm not too sure what brought me to this location. Perhaps some innate sense of being, some innate sense of wanting to be here. Not unlike Arthur in his quest for the grail. I had a feeling, some psychic sense that this is where I would find him. This is where I would find the king. Is this the king? Absolutely not. Unless, of course, you're in Atlanta. No, this is the king. There is only one king. We found him at Armitage Super Cleaners at the corner of Armitage and Halstead, Chicago, Illinois. What caused Elvis to show up at the Armitage Super Cleaners? We wanted to ask Mr. Gonzalez, the owner of this fine establishment, Max, is it true that Elvis works here? Uh, yeah. Is it? Yeah. And how long has Elvis worked at Armitage Super Cleaners? It's about eight years. Eight years, uh-huh. Is he a good worker? Is he a hard worker? Well, he's good work. Uh -huh. okay. You heard it here. Elvis is not dead. He is working part. He, he lives here, is it? Where, where does he live? Do you know? Yeah, because I think he's in life, and he lives here. Absolutely. We knew it was true. We knew it wasn't just a headline in the newspapers. We knew it wasn't just some hysterical revelation. Elvis is, in fact, alive, evidenced by the Armitage Super Cleaners. What is the connection between Elvis Presley and Max Gonzalez? Jake's world is dying to know. <laughs> Love the king. Love him. Love him. Now, you didn't get a chance to talk to Max, but that Max Gonzalez, I'm telling you, he probably did do the Lombada with him. <laughs> you did. The little, you did. He told I me. Did. You were one heck of a two stepper. Yeah. Our trail led us next over a little bit further north. And let's go back to our man on the streets because this next segment I think you'll find most amazing. Our trail led us here at the corner of Racine and Altgeld. With so many things to choose from, it's no wonder that Elvis would eventually wind up here at Bart Superfoods. It's no wonder that Elvis would shop here. Look at the selection. You saw his physique the last time he was seen in public. It's obvious that Elvis had plenty of hostess to eat, huh? Wait, here's this young lady here. Follow me. This is Kyung Yoon. Is it true that Elvis shops here? Have you seen Elvis? Sure. And how often would you say that Elvis comes into Bart Superfoods? Oh, he comes every once a week. Every once a week? Now, would you say that Elvis is, is more likely to buy the uh, Hostess cupcakes, or does he eat health food? No, I don't think so. He likes junk food. That's why he's like... <laughs> Fat, kind yeah, of. that's. He's still fat. I haven't seen him in about ten years. Elvis is still fat. Uh huh. He is. Maybe fatter. <laughs> wow. Now that's something. Let's go see what Elvis bought here at Bart Superfoods. I'm sure he loaded up on the junk food here. Too many healthy foods down that aisle. <laughs> This is what Elvis cleaned his apartment with. <laughs> and of course, we know Elvis has a lot of prune juice. <laughs> Elvis's favorite aisle. There's the owner now. <laughs> Where would Elvis be without his fruity pebbles, his frosted flakes? His honey smacks. His microwave golden fries. Let's go ask that young lady again some more questions about the king. Miss Yoon, Miss Yoon. Now, do you expect Elvis to stop by here today? Today? Well, he's unexpectable, so I don't know. So he just kind of flies in and out like the wind. Yeah, he is, kind of. Well, the next time Elvis shows up, tell him that Jake and Jake's world is hot on his trail, and we will catch up with Elvis. Okay, I'll tell him. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> 
right. Come on, I'm down here. Oh. I don't know what your fascination is with, you know, those lights or something, you know. Anyway, all that, that talk about, what are you doing? I'm doing the disco. Do, 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 do. Well, you can tell by the way I use the lights. Oh. Anyway, um, all that talk about Bart Superfoods has made me kind of hungry, and it's kind of a nice segue into our next section. Uh, we like to be somewhat educational here in Jake's World. Um, so we're going to uh, do our health segment now, and that's on good nutrition. Just don't look at that. This is on good nutrition. So follow me in the Jake's World's Kitchen. I bet there's good, good restaurants in here. We're, we're cooking at home. be like New York. You know. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hello. Yeah. Hi, Fran. Fran, we're in the middle. We're filming a TV show right now. Yeah, literally, the camera's on me right now, so you're going to be on, on TV. Yeah, um, so call me back after the nutrition segment. Um, well, normally it takes 15 minutes to cook, so bye. This is my budget. That was Fran. We planned that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what time? Come on. Come on. All right. Are you coming? This is our nutrition segment. This is a pizza. It's got it's got all the basic food groups because it's got the bread and the meat and the cheese and the vegetables. Now a lot of people don't know about the vegetable part, but that's in the tomato sauce. And um, we we were gonna order out, but we're broke. Yeah. So we gotta cook a tombstone pizza instead. And don't don't worry about the smoke because it's not really burning. It's the cheese that's on the, the bottom of the oven. That's 12 minutes. We have to leave that in there, so don't forget. There's some sort of bad economy structure here on Jake's world. We don't have any money. We, Lithuania wanted to send us money. We said no. We're broke. We're broke. Um, and I, um, are you back? I love it when we go on location. This is what is known as an oblique angle <laughs> in the business. You're in the business. I am in the business. Oh, by the way, next next time on Jake's World. Yeah. Next time on Jake's World, we're taking a trip to the Lincoln Park Zoo, where Pat is going to live for a week in the Great Ape House. Thank you. Um, it's not terribly unlikely. You know the paperwork to do that. I know Jeez. the bureaucracy, bureaucracy. Oh. You know, but just to roll around in gorilla dung, <laughs> you've got <laughs> triplicate. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Forget it. I'm sticking with the reptiles. I want to tell you. Well, I'm doing Vegas now. <laughs> uh, yeah, and you three and Billy Crystal. Now, oh. <laughs> three weeks from oh, now, Jake's God. World goes to Vegas. We're going on location We're to theme. Las Vegas. We're theming here, babe. We're going to go undercover as corrupt uh, dealers. <laughs> And we're going to try and avoid the wrath of the mafia. Yes. Join us then on Jake's Roll. That's the end of this segment. Yeah. <laughs> Turn, that's the end of this segment. Oh. Here we are, uncomfortably just talking. Turn, hey. I'm Turn leaving. That off. I'm leaving. This is not in my contract. Turn it, it's the end of the segment. <laughs> You're on your own, babe. You're supposed to turn You're that off until... Own. Sit down. Don't leave me. You're on your own, babe. Uh, yeah, information. Uh, Chicago. A listing for an Elvis Presley. P-R-E-S-S-L-E-Y. First name Elvis. E-L-V-I-S. Yeah, Presley. P-P-R-E-S-S-L-E-Y. P is in potato. P is in pompadour. Yes, Presley Elvis. E. Damn it! Where is he, man? It's got to be here somewhere. Guy spends his entire life pursuing one goal, one dream, his one ambition. What am I saying? My dream, my ambition. I'll find
find him. I'll find him. As God is my witness, I will find that man. Over here. Over here. Uh, he's still not here yet. Um, Who's not here? The King Elvis. Oh, are we doing a remake of Waiting for Godot? He's, he's on his he's way. Not here. So wait, we're going to do before... Is he coming? Yes, he's coming. All right. He's coming. All right. You don't believe me? I don't. Shut up, Pat. Anyway, he's on his way. But So now we're going to go to um, another segment before we eat our pizza during the nutrition segment. Actually, be nutrition part two. And that's uh, Jake's World's Rated Babe. All right. I said we're not going to do any sex. Rated? Uh, yeah. No, it's okay. Okay, so just we, we can do the thumbs I up. I said sexist garbage, by the way. So when we do the segment, I'm off the hook. <laughs> thumbs up, okay? Okay, we do. This is like. Way cool. I have no and This hair, is so totally no, no right. Like and this me. is just okay. And this is like no good, all right? So, I, all right, Kim Bassinger, ready, babe. Why? What? Roseanne Barr. Oh, see, <laughs> this is, see? Yeah. <laughs> Not going to participate. Looks aren't everything. Nancy yeah. Reagan. <laughs> okay. Wait, she's had a wreck, I swear to God. And she peels it. I swear to God, Shirley told me like that. I should have her with uh, breasts. That's true. I should have those things. Okay, one more rated bit. Ivana Trump. Yeah. Get her! Ivana, take all money you can! She's gonna get billions. I'm, I'm telling you. She digs me. You. She does. Yeah. But I think you should go for it because okay. she's gonna be coming into a lot of bread. Okay, um. You have trumped the game there, Jake. Oh, producer. That's it, right? All right. We're going to change that to Ivana's face. <laughs> the Ivana Trump. Don't you like my wheezy laugh? It's going to be called Trump the Dame. <laughs> Do you ever, like, wake up in the middle of the night and think of Wheezy from the Jeffersons? <laughs> Yeah, they call it night horror. Oh. Ray to Bay, Wheezy and Jefferson. <laughs> Wheezy! Wheezy. Wait, Ray to Bay, Darma. <laughs> this is where we cut. We've wandered the streets of Chicago in search of the king. Following that, that innate feeling, that sixth sense, knowing that somewhere he was out there. We know that it's not a question of if we ever find him, but when. Yeah, 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 yeah. he's here somewhere. Not <laughs> Elvis can't be not Okay, this is uh the second half of the nutrition segment. This is the pizza segment, Jake's World Pizza. Here, um, I didn't want you to go thirsty. And this is this is uh, mood music um, by Elvis. Look at this. It's beautiful. I can smell the tombstone from here. Yeah, we can't miss any brand names. Oh, I meant it smells like a tombstone in the graveyard. Uh, everybody's gonna know it's a tombstone pizza now. Well, that's extra endorsement money for us, isn't it? We can't get paid for this either. As far as they know. Yeah. Here, have an napkin. You want pizza? You want some? Oh, it's 3D House of Pizza. Oh. <laughs> 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 so 
So, um, Elvis still isn't here yet. I don't know why we're supposed, he's supposed to be here. But I hope they caught all those eating noises on mic. Um, slurping. That's good TV. He said he'd be here. But at this point, I don't really care. You know? The guy next to me up. Yeah, when he beat you up in that bar, he stood you up. He stood that was you up Elvis. And... That was the Elvis impersonator. Um, I so told anyway, you not to call him Clem. Look, what? tomatoes for the vegetables, sausage for the meat, cheese for the dairy, bread crust, uh, pizza crust for the bread. Um, so there you got your four basic food groups. Okay. Um, but that's uh, also... Um, Covering the label. It's breads um, because it's hops and barley and stuff. If Elvis were here, he would also have some pizza because he knows how nutritious it is. Because Elvis is nutritious, contrary to what that girl at the grocery store said. He doesn't just eat hostess, all right? He eats good stuff, all right? Because he's made this peanut butter and uh, banana sandwiches. All right, that's healthy, all right? Peanut butter and bananas is very healthy. And he fries them, that's all right. He just heats it up, but that's still healthy. All right, because um, he's a king. But I don't know where he's at. You know, he's supposed to be here. You know, the guy calls me on the phone and tells me he's gonna be on my damn show. I'm sorry. I'm not paying attention to you. I'm, uh, I'm entranced by that poor food. Thing. So we'll just kick back and wait for him and um, go off to our last segment. Um, I report on the street, trying to just want to get people's opinion about, you know, Elvis in general and whether the uh, general public is saying, so go to the theme show, Jake. No, it's Jake, just go to this segment. I'm sick of you, man. I'm sick of you. Every time you contradict me, I'm... Hi, I'm Jake. This is Jake's World in Search of Elvis. You walk up and down these streets a bit. I'm sure you've seen them somewhere on Lincoln Avenue. Uh, I've seen them at the, uh, the Big Nasty and also at a laundromat uh, a few blocks away from here. You saw Elvis. You look like Elvis. Are you Elvis's brother? Uh, maybe a distant cousin. And you? Elvis' sister. I knew it. Elvis does have relatives living here in Chicago. That's why he's here. We have seen him. When is the last time you saw Elvis? In real life? Yeah, he is alive. You know that. Uh, probably a couple weeks ago. Do you expect him to be walking up and down Lincoln Avenue anytime soon? When? Obviously, you've spoken to him. You've spoken with him. When's he going to be up and down Lincoln Avenue? Yeah, I don't know. That's contradictory to our well-placed sources. We thought he was here in Chicago. Yeah, we just came from Seattle, and we saw him out there. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure. I'm sure these people are well intentioned, but they obviously don't know Elvis like we do. Thank you very much. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, I see why. Have you seen Elvis in this vicinity recently? Well, he was over at the zoo watching the uh, sea lions being fed. He was just a, a, a viewer. He was not a participant. He's not working it. Yes, sir. You're right. Okay. Well, how does he look compared to the last time you seen him in public? Is he heavier? Does he still have the sideburns? Uh, Everything's the same. It's like I'm sure he put on at least five pounds. He's eating good somewhere. That's reassuring. Contrary to other reports on this street, this man has seen Elvis. We know we'll find him somewhere. Thanks very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, are we rolling? Are we rolling? This is very important. Jake's World in Search of Elvis. Your first name and first name only, please. Valerie. Valerie. Valerie, uh, recent well-placed sources have you romantically involved with Elvis here in Chicago. Any comment? That is correct. I, I understand that Elvis peers in your window every night. Every night. He is about two stories tall and lives across the street. And how long have you been involved with Elvis? About uh, three and a half months now. Valerie, is there any future this relationship? God, I hope not. He's just way too big for me. <laughs> you heard it here first. A Jake's World scoop. Thanks, Valerie. You're welcome. Excuse me, sir. Sir, can we have a word with you? Word with you, uh, the Jake's World for Jake's World Investigate. Wait, Pat. Pat, it's me. It's Jake. Pat. Come get back here. Now, is it true? Uh, our well-informed sources have you. Well, first of all, give me your first name and first name only. Ron. Ron, our, our well-informed sources have you placed at Elvis Presley's last tax, tax audit. Is that true? 
Uh, I might have been there. Ron, Ron, come on, you can't, you can't lie to the public. Ron, you're Elvis's accountant, aren't you? Well, who told you? <laughs> Ron, I'm a journalist. I don't divulge sources. Is he still making tons of money, Ron? Um, let's just say he is not poor. <laughs> you heard it here. Thanks, Ron. Don't worry. We'll protect your anonymity. <laughs> No, Jake. Mm. I've got evidence. What? You're actually Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> <laughs> Just Look kidding. At that. What? Get close up on that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Jesus. That was in my monk days. <laughs> Come on. Anyway. I said geez, not geez, us. Well. <laughs> yes. He's uh. He's Jesus. not here. I heard he was in the green room. Is he here? Yeah, in your bathroom, painting green. No, he's not in there. Isn't the king die on the throne? <laughs> he's not there. He, uh... Is he there? Turn the light on. This is compelling television, ladies and gentlemen. He's not in there. Ooh, this is a place for the stick-up. Okay. All right. Um, he looked all over the place. I don't know what to tell you guys. He was supposed to be here. But maybe next week. You know, this. I don't want this to be like a, a, a standard procedure for Jake's World that we promise a guest and don't deliver. We like to deliver. The spit take. <laughs> That's not Elvis, though. Oh, nice you spit. surprised me there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> oh, being facetious, aren't we, Patrick? Um, That's my first born, facetious McDonald. <laughs> like I said, so hopefully next week we can get him. I know he's in town. I talked to his agent. He was working at the uh, at the marketplace on diversity, bagging produce. You know, kind of inconspicuous. He has a beard now. I think he's Oriental. Doesn't Bob Green write about him? Mm -mm. That's uh. It's my holiday. Uh, so, uh... I hate that. We'll see you next time. At the, uh... Jake's World. Hell of a way to end the show. I said hell. Who said hell? Ah! You can't say the H word. We'll see you right. next time on Jake's World. Now the, Jake's now world. the credits are going to come on. Jake's World. Hey, can we run the credits over Rockin me right now? The credits are going to be going right Jake's now. Jake's World. All right. It's Here comes. The world of Jake. It's a world. Here comes. Wait, there goes. Jake. There comes. There's David Wilson. And we're all. Dave, Jake producer. Will. Here, wait. It's a world. Jake, Jake. Dobb. And we're very scared to be a part Star. of it. Star. Pat McDonald. Of Jake. Pat McDonald, semi star. World. <laughs> semi star. Wait, wait, here, look at this. Here it comes David Wilson. Set designer. Set designer. With help from Augie Bush. Augie Bush. Special thanks to. Augie Doggy. Armitage Super Cleaners. Smart Superfoods, the big, big nasty, nasty, and of and course, shake. Jake. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Jake's world. world. Jake's Rock world. world. <laughs> Oh, no, he's here. Can, can we go any longer? Can we? Wait, no, 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 don't stop it. He's here.